Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, to Canon Mind Fitness Online Training. It is your coach, Pablo. Welcome to your CrossFit workout. Let's get into your guided flow. Here we go. Go ahead and get those hands together, reach for the ceiling, and exhale. Hit nice and tall. Go ahead and reach to the left. Reach to the right. Tuck that chin, roll the shoulders. Exhale one vertebrae at a time, reaching for the toes. You're gonna shake those hips out left and right. Come on back up, inhale, one vertebra at a time, reach. Grab the elbow, right elbow, lean to the left. Grab the right elbow, left elbow, lean to the right. Tuck that chin, roll the shoulders, exhale, reach for the floor, and go ahead and walk it out. Onto the toes. Half flank and cobra. Exhale. Beautiful, tuck the toes, down dog. Walk it up. Widen those stance, widen the feet. Fold those arms, swing left to right. Lean to the left side lunge. Keep that heel down and lean to the right. In, keep that knee out, keeping this heel down on the right side. Beautiful. Back to center. Fold those arms. Reach back. Walk it out. Scoot those feet back together. Onto the toes. Half plank. And cobra. Exhale. Down. Beautiful. We're going to go to 10 chest rotations. Keep that hand at the same height as the shoulder. Here we go at five. The next five, I'm gonna put my fist down. Six. Seven. Eight. Nine. And 10. Beautiful. Back to Cobra. Press up. Exhale. Reach. Tuck the toes down. Dog left foot up. Hold. Left foot to right hand glute stretch. You're going to sit back and you're going to quickly go back up to a down dog foot up. Left foot to left hand. Runner's lunge. I'm thinking about driving my hips down to the ground, pressing that knee out. And then back to down dog, foot up, back to the glute stretch. You're gonna rotate through that six times, right? So it was glute stretch and runner's lunge. 12 of six, this will be number four, right here. Again, runner's lunge, driving the hips down to the ground, keeping the shins vertical, perpendicular to the ground. Keep it away. Five. And Six. Beautiful. Do the same exact thing on the other side. Kick back. Right foot up. Right foot to left hand. Glute stretch. Try to think about sitting back and down. Kick it back. Right foot up. Right foot to right hand. Drive that knee out. Press the hips down into the ground. <sighs> Exhale. Press away. Right foot to left hand. Glute stretch number three. Beautiful. Go ahead and kick it back. Right foot to right hand, number four. Nice, we got two more here. And this beautiful snowy, snowy day. Go ahead and kick it back. Right foot to left hand. Last glute stretch, this is number five. And then right foot up. Right foot to right hand. This is your last runner's lunge, beautiful. Go ahead and bring in that left foot. Press those knees out. Beautiful, hips up. Go ahead and do that five times. That was one, two. Every time I'm trying to keep my chest up, knees out. Hips up. Three, get knees out. Working that chest up. Hips up. Down, four, knees out. Last one. And five, beautiful, go ahead and stand, reset. 
And let's crush that workout. All right, team, here we go into your CrossFit skill warm-up for quality. You're going to go 10 down to 1 with banded lateral steps, otherwise known as monster walks, as you see here with a band above your kneecaps, making sure that we are in a low, small squat, pressing those knees out as we side shuffle, by just a little mini squat, just like you see right there. Then you're going to grab a longer band and do banded pull-aparts just like you see here to warm up your shoulder blades and your upper back, keeping your chest nice and tall. Whether you do a single band, you double it up as shown here. It is your choice as long as you control on the way out and on the way in. Take your time, feel the squeeze on the way out, right? Underhand or overhand. Again, keeping that chest nice and tall. You can see the side view right here. Again, keeping the body nice and straight. Uh, really trying to feel it in the shoulder blades as much as possible. Then, you're going to go into a weightlifting barbell warm-up. And the first thing you have after that is going to consist of a high hang snatch. Here we see the different variations. The muscle, power, and now coming up here, the squat variation, right? So, this is the high hang position. It's somewhat in the hips. As you're going to see here, I send my hips back but I'm still keeping my chest relatively tall and I'm extending straight upward. You'll especially notice this here on the side view of this high hang, sending the hips back and then extending straight up with the body, essentially making sure as I send my hips back that I also send my shins back so my hamstrings can help me out on these high hang snatches. Then after your five by three at 50% building, you're gonna go into some strength work of front squats. Three sets of six with a three second negative, right? So whether you clean this from the ground or you squat it from a squat rack, it's up to you, whatever you have. But pick a weight that's heavier than last week and then go for three sets of six with a three second negative, taking one Mississippi, two Mississippi, three Mississippi down for the squats. Then after you finish your strength work, you're going to go into a quality 10 down to one wad of barbell bent over rows, just like you see right here, pulling that barbell into the belly, into the hips, into those back pockets from in front of your body, just like so. Squeezing those shoulder blades as much as you can. You'll notice the more you squeeze, the more you feel it, and the more you feel it, the more strength you're gonna gain, and the more strength you're gonna gain, the closer to your goal you're gonna get. So, squeeze. Uh, then you're gonna go into dumbbell skull crushers, as you see here, laying down on the ground or a bench. You're going to grab some weight. A lot of the time, this is going to be lighter weight because this might be the first time you do this, but take your time and extend all the way. Your last movement is going to be a V-up, as demoed here by Coach Aaron. Beautiful V-ups, touching those toes with the hands, coming up, looking like a V. And here we have a couple different modifications, right? So making it a little bit easier as we go through this, you can go a hollow tuck just like that. That's a great modification as well. Thank you, ladies and gentlemen, for following along with us. We appreciate your time. We hope you enjoyed the workout. We hope that you let us know your score, if you liked it, how you liked it, and how we can improve for next time. Our goal is to keep you healthy at all times and keep improving alongside you. So please let us know how you like it. Post your scores on social media. Tell your friends about it. Health is incredibly important, especially in this time. So let's all get healthy together and keep each other accountable. See you in the next workout.